Okay, well today we are in Walkersville, Maryland, and we are sitting outside of the Goodwill. We're gonna head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, well we are starting here in the vases, and I noticed this guy. That is gorgeous. $8.49, made in Korea. I don't know how old that is. I would guess vintage. Oh, there's a huge chunk missing off of it. That sucks. You probably would have scooped that up. This pet shop down here has a nice handle. $5.49 on that. Mm, I don't know though. I've been picking up a lot of clear glass lately and I don't think any of it has made it through processing yet. So let's see how that does before we uh, pick up any more. Over here in the colored vases. Oh, this is neat. That kind of looks like it could be Mackenzie Child. It had a sticker on the bottom. What a version, 49 cents. It could have been a Mackenzie Child sticker, but it's so faded, I don't know. I know she makes glass, and on the glass pieces, they do have stickers on the bottom, but I don't know. So I think I'm gonna leave it. Oh boy. Last time I did this, I knocked a vase off the shelf. And it was very anticlimactic. So we're gonna just stick that back in there. Here we are in the cups. Circling around now, waiting for the figurine section to clear out. <laughs> That's a cute kitty mug. Right. Yeah, I have that same painting my mom gave me only in white. There it is in black. There's a fancy dish. I think I may have looked at that one actually last time I was here. Was reverse painted. Royal tininess. <laughs> Dog cheese. Oh, those are little, uh, little puppy dishes. So you know your pet is real bougie whenever you have little dishes just for your puppy. Alright. That is not fused glass, it's textured glass that has been reverse painted, otherwise I might pick it up. You guys know I love some fused glass. Those are Disney. Oh man, you guys know me and Disney. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to Disney. All right, so I looked these up, and it looks like a set of four dinner plates sold recently for 40 bucks. But then if you scroll down, a set of four dinner plates also sold for 20 bucks. So that's why it's good to look at everything in one big picture and not just go straight to the, to the highest sold. Here is a single that sold for 12. Um, so if you go by that rule, if they sell for about, you know, 8 to 12 a piece, it makes sense they don't all sell for 40. I'm going to check real quick and see if that one that sold for 22 was auction. No, that was a buy it now. I don't know. I'm not debating it, but I think it went past. This is not marked and it has a giant crack. These look to be treasure crafts. We have honey here. This is... Uh, US, I'm pretty certain this is treasure crap. Um, but is that the right lid? I don't think it is. I don't think that is the right lid for that. So I'm gonna stick this up here. Try to figure that out. What does that go to? Is there, hang on. <laughs> There's another one here. This is honey that doesn't have a lid. So is there any others hanging around that they may have got swapped? I don't see them. Maybe somebody already got the other ones and these were the leftovers. In which case, I'm gonna put those back. This is adorable. He is giving his sister a haircut. Happy to say that my kids have never done that yet. There's a kitty cat. Check our daily discount sign in front of the store to learn what color is on sale today. Ooh, what is this? That looks familiar. 
who makes this? I just sold one of these not too long ago. It was a vase. I found it at Frederick. That one was signed though. This is this is the same artist. I'm almost positive. This one's not signed though. Hmm, six forty-nine. Is it Val Saint Lambert? I don't think it is. I'm gonna grab it. I know that's a good one. All right. Well, I walked by this the first time, and then the second time, I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> is that glass? I thought that that was um, ceramic. Somebody actually painted that. And then it looks like they tried to remove the paint. Oh, there's chipping on the bottom. That's probably maybe why they painted it. It's pretty damaged. I thought, wait a second, is that a Murano light? Maybe, I don't know. It's too far gone though. I circled back around to the figurines <laughs> because not that, but over here from the other side of the shelf, I noticed these girls. You know what? I actually looked at them the last time. I noticed them from behind and I was like, oh wait, what are those? Never mind, they're not very special. All right, I think we're almost done here then. Unless they will out a fresh cart. What in the world is this thing? Francoma? What does it do? <laughs> WA1 Francoma. Hmm. That's weird. I feel like I should try to look this one up. Now, I said it before, my signal is not the best in here, but that might be worth trying to look up. So I am back over here in the figurines. I kind of did a double take at this because I kind of registered that, you know what, the quality of that is kind of nice. It's very heavy. I don't know. No markings on it. I'm going to stick it in here for a minute. And then there's a second cross, so let's take a peek at that one up here. This one doesn't look as nice though. No signatures on that. Hmm. I don't know. Six forty-nine. I think that one's more of a Celtic cross, and this one is just a regular cross. No crosses. And then there's something with cats on it down here. Let's get a closer look at that as well. And this, what is this? Look at this. See, this is always what happens. I like go through the figurines and I'm like, oh, all right, there's nothing there. And then we come back and it's like, whoa, how did I miss that? Cats. <laughs> there's a cowboy back there even. All right, actually, Andrew called. I was gonna look up the Frank Dumbo thing and then Andrew called me and I was just browsing around. I also grabbed this while I was on the phone with Andrew. I don't know what that says though. Hmm. This looks interesting, but I I don't I don't know. I just I don't suspect there's much value there, so I'm probably gonna just set it back. Okay, so this contraption here is a warmer Francoma pottery warming stand, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. Um, it sells for. A variety of different prices looks like the highest was 30 lowest was 13 I don't know, they've got six dollars and fifty cents on it I don't know I just don't feel like I'd be that excited to list it so I think I might put it back it's neat but yeah I don't know the profit on it isn't as it, it isn't excited enough to, to list it for me <laughs> so gonna throw it back and it's not cute it's not cute enough to be excited about oh like this pig see that's cute I'm just kidding well that's kind of interesting looks like somebody bought it it has a sold tag on it interesting that is oh it says it's a seraphim classics huh wow very fancy I wouldn't want to ship that Oh man, the kitty has a chip. That's the first thing I spotted. Chip on the ear. No! The hobbyist piece. That's a bummer. There are, well, there is a snow baby in here. I guess there's two of them. Um, the Disney ones I know sell well. Um, and the ones with the red red in contrast with the white I've seen do well um, the plain white ones the generic ones I, I don't usually pick those up 
I know because Eric once brought us an entire box of snow babies. And so I, I had to research them and figure out the trends in snow babies and that's what I came up with. So these are adorable. These, uh, what is in here? Oh, those are Pier 1. They're a little bit dirty, but I can clean those up. I'll take those. All right, I'll stick those in here. All right, I'll get out of the way now. That's cute. All right, some salt and pepper shakers. I'm loving these yellow Pure One canisters. I think I'll stick those in my cart. Obviously, they're modern. I love those. All right, so let's see if anything new landed on the shelves, and then I'm probably going to get out of here. It's a shame that Rose got all chipped up. Um, I did scoop up the canisters and the shakers. You saw those, but that's really all I got. I don't know. I should take one last peek in there. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But I just didn't see much. I think it's a vintage sewing box, but it has some really cute butterflies on there. And lots of hair. So the hair is free. I love the sewing box, though, with the butterflies. I was just on my way uh, towards the door and I uh, noticed this Acro Agate lampshade. That was kind of exciting. Sweet. $2.49. be great to find a lamp that goes with it. Maybe I'll swing back through the lamps just to make sure. But it just seems like it's a single shade. All right, well, I did not find a matchy match for the lamp shade, but I did find this. Come on, please come out. I'm just gonna move that, and then I should just, nope. Ugh, it's all chipped up. Okay, well the other one was all chipped up too, but I thought we'd at least put them together. Okay, well our total spend here today was 49.14, and I'm gonna take you now to the next Goodwill, and we'll see what we can find there. Here we go. All right, well, let's see what we can find in figurines. <laughs> I just gave away one of these little turtles the other day on whatnot. <laughs> Cinderella. I think that's supposed to look like Wedgwood. It does not. Oh, Laurel has one of these. That faceted the ashtray looks really fancy. There's no markings on the bottom that I can see though because it's so scratched up and it does have chipping all the way around so I don't think that's really something I want to mess with. There's a dog mom plaque for the desk. Okay, all right, didn't see much in figurines. Let's hope that the vases deliver today. All right, ooh, that one's kind of fun. Down on the bottom, huh, not much going on there. That is just a modern piece. Here are a bunch of little yogurt containers. <laughs> oh boy. There's some Tierra glass, $4.49 for the set, it looks like. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have very much luck today. Here is all of the clear glass, and there is a piece of pottery there, and I don't know. I just picked up a ton of pottery at the last Goodwill, so, excuse me, sorry. Have one France. I do love the design on the edge of that, but it's just a single piece. Ooh, there's another piece. Maybe there's a set here across the set and then I might have to reconsider. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> that would be awesome. I really do love that pattern. Dainty little yellow flowers on the edges. That's kind of a weird mug. I kind of like it, but it's kind of weird also. 
That's a neat pattern on that bowl. There's markings on it. $4.49. I may just pick that up for me, and if there is resale value, I'll sell it. Otherwise, I'll just keep it for myself. I currently use Pyrex, uh, but every time I use my Pyrex bowls, I have to hand wash them. This is something I'm buying at the thrift store. I wouldn't mind throwing it into the dishwasher. Well, the plates are really stacked today. I don't know how much I feel like digging to see what's here. <laughs> I'm not really in a digging mood, but I will browse. From the top, there's a nice um, floral pattern, but it's not the one that I was eyeing up over on the other shelf. I think maybe it's just those two pieces that I saw. This is also nice. What is this? Oh, not that. Underneath it. Uh, I don't know. Back here. All right. I don't think we're gonna find anything here today besides the bowl that I'm gonna take home for myself. Those look like they could actually maybe be Captain Monte. I don't know. They're kind of a little sloppy. There is shipping on them as well. What is that one there? That looks like the um that is in the Casa Crystal. That looks similar to the plates I picked up about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago up a couple of plates and that looks very similar so I'm almost wondering now if those plates were maybe in the casa. Okay, well kind of anti-climax to say but you know what I had pretty good luck at the last two good bowls so I, don't, I can't be mad about it because you know I had I had a good day. Alright here we go. There's some rose medallion. Actually, Rose Canton because there are no people on it. It's ACF, which means that it probably dates to the 1970s. And how much is it? Let's double check. Three dollars and forty-nine cents. I'll still grab it. All right, there we go. 1970s Rose Medallion. All right, we found something. Spiced pecan pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> so this was an older tin. I usually look at these older tins to see if they have um, a and on them because Andrew's dad collects stuff with uh, A&P. And I'll send pictures to Andrew and be like, does your dad have this one? <laughs> of course, that is definitely contemporary. Collector's plate, it looks like. All right, what is this weird thing? Wow, that's extremely heavy. I wonder what is in this box. Shall we peek? All right, those weren't as exciting as I was hoping they would be. <laughs> I wonder <laughs> what, what this would have been worth if it didn't have somebody um, drilling a hole through it to make it into a clock. $7.49. Okay, well our total spend here at the Frederick Goodwill was only $9. <laughs> I bought a bowl for myself, which if it turns out to be valuable, I'll sell it and buy myself a different bowl. Um, and I also bought the little demi toss cup that is Rose Medallion. Rose Canton because there are no people on it. I always think of um, Canton because can't is a negative can't, cannot, um, and so negative, no people. That's how I associate it in my head. Um, so that is ACF, 1970s, but um, not worth a whole lot. If it was antique, it might be worth a little bit more, um, but we're just talking vintage, so. Oh my gosh. Some guy just like threw a shopping cart across the parking lot. Let's see if I can zoom in. Behind the taxi. He just grabbed that shopping cart and threw it. That was crazy. I don't, I don't think he's gonna do anything else. It was just a one and done and you guys missed it. On that note, um, I'm gonna end this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. <laughs>
<laughs> and there is the shopping cart. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.